Internal Revenue Service RRS Tax News. Eligible seniors should take advantage of free filing options this tax season. Speaking of seniors, did you see that State of the Union address? Of course not. You know, they need to work on their marketing over there, you know? Like, for example, they need to be more specific if they're going to sell this thing. I mean, State of the Union? It's like, which state are you talking about, man? It's like, the, the, the Union has a whole bunch of them in there. I mean, that's like saying we're going to talk about the nut in the nut house. It's like, which, which nut? Which nut? The house literally derived its name from having a whole bunch of nuts in it. Now, if you chose another house, one not generally thought to be filled with nuts, like, oh, I don't know, the White House, for example, then people may be able to pick out the specific nut you're referring to, you know? Oh, I know, I know. The White House is filled with almost as many nuts as the nut house. Like, okay, it's not a perfect example, but I'm just, I'm just you get the idea. Specificity, specificity, that's what's needed here. Anyways, I mean, honestly, how is it possible Joe Biden can be so fluent in lies without being fluent in English? What are you doing, Potter? You have to wait back. I can't really understand much of what is being said. You tell me. Come back to Canada. Mr. O'Neill. Tell me, Mickey. How are you? Hey, what is my kindness for the horse? I mean, it's amazing. He can lie with statistics, lie while playing on empathy or anger, lie while cuddling his secretary's hairbrush. And yet speaking a coherent sentence is impossible. And he, here I thought we had to watch out for those smooth silver tongue liars. But apparently the ones you can't even understand are far more dangerous. Possibly because people just assume the liar can't actually be saying the crazy crap that's coming out of their mouth. See you later, lad. See you, boss. All right, Mickey. Later. Right, I see what all the fuss is about. All right, babe, fellas. But whatever, I mean, it's not, at least we have those honest fact checkers out there to help us out, you know? What's this? Joe Biden's speech scientifically and objectively ranked best ever in universe. Fact check true. What? what? I can't believe, even, even the trusted fact checkers are lying for crying out loud. The media's lying. The fact checkers are lying. The AIs are lying. This is crazy. Whatever. It's best best to just stay calm and just read tax news, I think. So let's do that. Just give us our money back and you can keep your caravan. I want a caravan. It's got fucking weird. IRS Tax Tip 2023-16 February 8th, 2023. Seniors and retirees who want to file their taxes for free or find free in-person tax help can look at a few programs available for eligible taxpayers. In-person IRS help for seniors and low-income taxpayers. Eligible taxpayers can also have their taxes prepared in person for free through these two programs. You got the Tax Counseling for the Elderly. The TCE program prioritizes taxpayers age 60 and older. TCE specializes in questions about pensions and retirement related issues unique to seniors. Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. The VITA program is generally for people who make $60,000 or less, people with disabilities, and limited English speaking taxpayers. So note, obviously, when you're looking at different people's or categories of people's taxes, there's going to be different needs in terms of how you're going to deal with the taxes. When you're dealing with people that are still in their working years, then you would assume that you would have like W-2 types of income and that kind of stuff and possibly earned income tax credits, child tax credits, and those kind of things. When you're talking about uh, people that are past their working years, likely you're not going to have as much W-2 kind of stuff, but instead be dealing with you know, pension plans, social security, and uh, savings, and you know, that kind of thing as well. So uh, when you're picking the best option to get advice from, you might want to be taking into consideration these two components so that you're going to a place where hopefully they have the specialized needs for your particular needs and your particular circumstances. If you're looking to volunteer at one of these two kind of programs, which can be a good way to get experience and whatnot, then 
uh, again, you might want to think about which one would be your best suited for in terms of your uh, knowledge and which ones you'd want to most learn about and get more experience within. So taxpayers can go to the IRS free tax preparation page. There's a link to that here. It's on irs.gov and use the available site locator tools to find a TCE or VITA site near them. IRS free file. Many seniors and retirees can file their taxes for free with IRS free file available irs.gov forward slash free file. There's a link to that here. The program offers online tax preparation software for taxpayers with income of 73000 or less in 2022. So this is, in essence, an option for basically everyone, seniors included. It should be able to handle the kind of needs of seniors. It's proprietary software that has a deal with the IRS to be on their page that offer uh, deals that might be uh, good or possibly free if your income is below a certain threshold. The top threshold is 73000 That doesn't mean all offers will fall under that category but um, they have at least one that falls under that category and that's why they use that threshold. So uh, through this program, a public-private partnership between IRS and Free File Incorporated, leading tax software providers make their online products available for free. This year, there are seven products in English and one in Spanish, Espanol. There's a link to that here. Each IRS Free File partner sets its own eligibility standards based on income, age, and state residency. So the actual softwares themselves are going to set their own standards, their private software, the tool on this IRS website kind of helps you to sort that your particular needs. What you want to do is say, hey, does it, do, do I get it for free? Is my income below the threshold to get it for free? Obviously, number one. Number two, does it cover the state that I need it to cover? That is going to be an important component. And does it include the kind of needs that I might have with regards to credits? For example, the earned income tax credit is a complex credit even for software to calculate. Sometimes the software doesn't do them for some reason. They try to take, remove that under the free file option. But many low income individuals would be uh, good to check if you, if you can get that credit. So you'd kind of like software that would pick that up. So tax campaigners can browse each of the offers or use the IRS free file lookup tool to find the right product for them. The program software supports the most common forms that can be filed electronically, including the form 1040SR. There's a link to that for seniors over age 65. Program providers also offer state income tax return preparation, some for free and some for a fee <laughs> some for free some okay taxpayers can use the lookup tool to find the right state uh, product all program products are in, uh, enabled for mobile devices so software can be used their smartphone or tablet to do their taxes now i think that's just crazy just lunacy to me but sometimes all you have is your cell phone maybe if you don't have access to the computer i would think that would be quite a small screen my eyes are not good enough i only i and i don't trust those those cell phones and tablets to, in the first place so i try not to use them they're they're evil i think but maybe not i could be wrong and uh yeah so if you can do it on the cell phone if you're comfortable doing your taxes on the cell phone then uh check that out that's an option free file fillable forms while IRS free file has an income cutoff, taxpayer with income over 73000 can use free file fillable forms. Most people, I wouldn't recommend doing that because that's basically doing your taxes by hand. If your income's under 73000 there's no reason to do that because you could probably get access to free software and that would be far better in terms of an internal control and a check on your data input to make sure that you're not making any data input errors. And there's also other kind of tools that can help you to fill out the tax return other than box by box on the actual form. If your income's over 73,000, you're probably getting into more complex area on the high income side of things. And in that case, I would at least buy the software. So once again, you have an internal control instead of doing it by hand or actually hire a professional that's gonna help you not only with the current tax preparation, but with future taxes and, and budgeting and tax planning because your income is getting high enough to the point where you might need more complex kind of tax planning at that point in time. I think the reason the IRS always has to point out the free file fillable forms is because they like to be able to say that they have a free option for everybody, but I, I don't think that is the same thing as, as saying that, you know, everybody, sh you know, you should do the free file fillable forms because there's probably a better option uh, for most people. But in any case, it's available if, you, if you'd rather. 
I think most people that use that option might use it because maybe they don't have access to a computer. They don't want to do it on their smartphone or something like that, or they don't, they still don't trust online, uh, the, the, the software or whatever. So maybe, maybe the free file fillable forms will be more secure in their mind or something like that. Or that's why people might still file a paper return, I believe, as opposed to maybe an, an electronic kind of return in my experience. But in any case, fillable forms don't include a uh, guided preparation. So taxpayers need to be comfortable completing their own tax forms. Certain veterans can use the mill tax. So you got the mill tax online software. So if your income's below a certain threshold and you're in the military, then you might be able to qualify for either a mill tax or the free software. In that case, I'm not sure if the mill tax is better than the free software because I would expect most of or a lot of the, the free software has the options necessary for the significant differences often there for people in the military, but uh, and it's proprietary. So you would think that it's competing on the market, whereas the mill tax is being created from the par Department of Defense, which means it's not really competing against other software. So I'm not sure if it's going to be you know, keeping up with basically the, 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 the changing technologies and how easy, you know, the, the ease of data input and that kind of stuff, but maybe it does, I don't know. Uh, but you might have both of those options available to you if you're in the military and your income is below that threshold. So mill tax allows eligible taxpayers to prepare and file their federal income tax returns and up to three state income tax returns for free. Now that's a huge option with the mill tax right there because the military, you might end up finding yourself in multiple states, possibly subject to multiple state taxes because of moving around and whatnot. And a, a lot of the limitations on the, pr the private software is going to limit the number of states that you can that you can go to, you would think in terms of their deal. So if you have multiple states that you're dealing with, that might be a differentiating factor to, to push you over to get the mill tax, which is a free, uh, which you could still get the free option for it. So in any case, you could check those out. There'll be a link to this in the description uh, to do so.